Welcome back to Techno Babylon. We've just escaped out of the holding cell, and now we've come to where Jinsoul told us to go. I don't actually remember exactly why we're here, to be honest. I don't know if we're looking for protection or what. The den looks like a, maybe a bar or a club or something like that. Let's take a look around. What do I have on me? I've got the injector. Ah, right, that's the one that I used to inject the epinephrine into the guy, right? Yep, now empty after giving Guy his dose. <laughs> if I still have it on me, does that mean I'm still going to need it? The expensive looking car seems out of place in a neighborhood like this. It must be well protected. If someone felt they could leave it on display. Like most cars you've ever seen outside of the trance, it appears to be an auto drive. Barely anyone bothers with manual controls anymore. Good riddance, in your opinion. Oh, certainly. I, I am, I would gladly, gladly welcome automatic cars. They would be so much, so, so much safer than manually controlled cars. Not to mention probably faster and more efficient too. Honestly, if you took the human element out of driving cars, not only would they be safer, but because they'd be safer, you could also increase speeds, which means they would be faster and safer. It'd be pretty amazing. Ads for everything from sleazy bars to sex to cosmetics. Nothing I'd want, though. I feel like the whole neighborhood was designed to alienate me. Ads for every feel it. Warning. Whoops. Warning. You are too close to the vehicle. Please step away from the vehicle. This message has been a product of Sentinel security systems. TM. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually touch it. Can I inject the car? Warning. Warning, please. <laughs> okay. No, oh, don't touch it. I didn't mean to click it. Jesus. Move away from it. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> What's this aerial for? Visitors from out of town. Users connecting from other countries to the Transdens network? Newton's a bit funny about who gets to log on sometimes. So you figured you'd give them a hand by connecting them from abroad? Exactly. Foreigners pay better. The antenna juts from the wall. Sufficiently high to enhance its, its signal gain, though low enough to hide if cells should make a patrol of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, this still places it outside your reach. Hmm, wonder if I'm gonna have to mess with it at some point. The wetware won't form a connection with it. An underground trance den. People come here if they can't get online at home. Kinda thought it'd look slicker. Guess they're playing up the whole underground thing. Or maybe it's just as grimy as everywhere else in this part of town. A trance den. So is that sort of like an internet cafe? The venue's enormous bouncer glares at you with what you believe to be lofty contempt. Though you've never been that good at reading human expressions. Hey, no entry. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into the trance den. And I'm stopping you. What? Why? Maybe I don't like the look of you. Maybe we're full. Either way, shove off. Oh, come on, there must be something I can do to get in. What do I need to do? Ha, huh, we get that a lot. Some thrall drags themselves up here, says they'll do anything. Shows how desperate you people are. What is you people? Maybe I could do something for you? Huh. I like him skinny, but you look like you'd break a bone if someone looked at you too hard. You wouldn't believe how many greasy thralls try to get in that way, though. I... what? No! Ew! No! I meant hacking! Hmm. City Utilities did cut the water again. Okay. Can I do something about that? What happened to the water? Bills weren't being paid. I needed all my quanta to pay off the bookies after Pakistan lost last month's game. Gambling debts? Hey, like you're in a position to judge anyone. Thrall. Anyway, Central Utilities shut down the water. Now we can't grow any more wetware. Well, that's gotta be bad for business. Let me help you. How would I do that, though? How would I get the water turned back on? I guess I can maybe find the water supply and maybe use my wetware to connect to it and try to hack it that way or something. What's with your arm? 
It's all metal. Lost it in the war. One of the wars. On biochem duty. Turned out that because of the shots they gave me, they couldn't just grow me a new one. Same reason I can't get wired either. Allergic to the stuff. But you run a trance then. Ain't that just the definition of irony? <laughs> the arm's great, but the eyes they gave me ain't worth shit. There's supposed to be a public terminal on the corner over there. I guess because of all the wires running from where it used to be into the cellar. You reckon I know something about it? You think maybe I stole the terminal and I'm now using it to run a pirated trance environment for profit? Uh, maybe? Huh, you're pretty sharp. <laughs> What's with the antenna? The one under the neon lights? Not everyone here is a local. Some people in international connections. So, so greater Donk Euro That's Whoops defeats, but thanks to Pirate Net. They can never stop the signal. Oh, wait, what? I thought I was repeating dialogue there, but that sounded like it actually had some new stuff? I'm confused. So, you're not wired? You can't connect? Nope. Been allergic to neural wiring since the war. This seems like a strange thing to be doing then, running a trance den. You can't even experience the world you've built for these people. Means I can't get addicted to it either. Best kind of insurance. True can't get metaphorically high on his own metaphorical supply. Uh, I feel like I'm just supposed to go fix the water situation right now, but let me exhaust the other dialogue options just in case. Come on, man. I need to get back in the trance. It's important. That didn't work for the half dozen other thralls who tried it today. It sure ain't gonna work for you. What do you want me to do about the water supply? I'm a hacker, not a plumber. The flow's controlled by a terminal in the sewer. I want you to breach it and get my water back. How do I get into the sewers, though? I don't see a grating anywhere. Or a manhole or anything like that. Why don't you hack the water yourself? You haven't got my skills? You think a lot of yourself, don't you? I ain't wired. Can't breach systems like that on the go. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Also means I got deniability if they just catch some thrall messing around with it. No, officer. I didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. Hey, no way. Yeah, so I can't go that way, so which way do I go to get into the sewers? Uh, don't tell me the sewer manhole is underneath the car. I think it's underneath the car. I'm going to take a guess here. I'm going to take a guess that I need to use my wetware to connect to the computer-controlled car and cause it to drive away so that I can get into the sewers and then turn on the water supply, which will then do the favor that I need to do for the bouncer so that I can get inside the trance den. That's just my hunch. Let's see if it's true. Oh my god, it's totally true. Oh fuck me, it's actually true. It's actually true. <laughs> what is wrong with adventure games? <laughs> I have to hack a car by spreading goo on it so that I can get into a manhole and get into the sewers and hack a water supply just so I can convince a bouncer to let me inside. This is so absurd. What gears do we have? Reverse? Uh, let's just put it in reverse. Just a little bit. Just a little. Cool. Alright, awesome. It's gonna need a little work done. I just barely nudged it! I just wanted to go a couple. a, a couple Kims backwards, a couple kilometers per hour. But, nope. She just kept going. This is actually happening. I actually hacked a car. Just so I can get into a manhole. Like... There's no other manholes, huh? This See, this is adventure games for you. They make you think this is the only manhole, and that you have to hack a car. But in reality, you know there's another manhole five feet down the street. There's a lot of manholes. Okay, there's a lot of men. 
There's a lot of man, and there's a lot of holes in the world. There's a lot of manholes all over the place. I, why don't I just go into the other one? And don't tell me it's because it's too damn dark down here so she can't actually see where she's going. I'm pretty sure finding a light would be a lot easier than hacking a car. <laughs> Jesus. I can't get over how absurd this is. Hmm. A steel grate, as rusted as everything else down here. Looks like it covers the access to another shaft. I'm not strong enough to open it with my bare hands. Yeah, rub it's the panel. It's old and rusty, but still locked. Can I just spread my goo all over it? The wetware won't form a connection with it. Hmm. I need a tool. I can't inject that. <laughs> I can't. Hmm. I need like a crowbar or something like that. Steel grate. Looks. I'm. Not, I'm. Not. Hold on, haven't gone into transfer a while. Is there anything in here that I'm missing? News? Any new news? Well, this is new. Evacuation drill at transit station. Commuters on the Red Transit line last night were surprised by an evacuation drill that took place just after midnight at the Barber's Gate Transit Station. A cell spokesperson... Uh, no, sorry, a cell spokes program... Sp wait. A cell spokes program? At first I thought that was a misspell, but no, that's probably not. I guess instead of spokespeople, they have spokes programs. The cell spokes program has confirmed that the evacuation was part of a planned emergency response simulation, and that customers were in no danger. Cell is required to ensure the preparedness of its agents and city infrastructure in cases of emergency. The program stated, There is a limit to what can be anticipated through simulation, especially when it comes to realistic crowd response. As such, we are required to run tests like this periodically in active stations. Cell and Central are impressed at the professional attitude taken by the public and thank them for their cooperation. Travelers have complained that the sudden evacuation delayed their journey, though services were able to be routed around Barber's Gate, causing only minimal delays to the service, and those not stopping at the station. Yeah, it's a nuisance, said one bystander, but at least it's good to see Cell doing their jobs. The incident was also described as a rush by another. If your journey has been affected by the drill, please contact Central for compensation. I'm sure Central calculated that uh, that drill to be run in the most, or in the way that least hurt people's schedules and stuff like that. How's the weather? Day and night for staying indoors, still. Is this still the same day? How many days has it been since I started the game? I don't even know. Maybe it's still the same day. I mean, it says the date down there, so if I went back to the beginning of the game and looked at what that date was, I guess that would tell me. Hmm, from Chinsel. 871 Cyrus Street, Northwest 10th. No public transport, no trans connections before our meeting. Guy who knows. Hey there, Miss Mandala. Just wanted to say thanks for the assist at Cell. I'd probably be off to some Han factory by now without that epi. Sink you later. Guy who knows. <laughs> Literally an email from Guy. Does that mean his last name is who knows? Okay, tool. Need tool. Can I pull a off something? Tool. Oh, probably what they claim it's for, at least. Perfect. Car repair tool. That's a strange name for a crowbar. Just pop everything off. Goo. Too easy. Ah, the email from Jinsel tells me which one, I think. Yes, because I don't want to enable it for some other place. What's this hazard list? 
A number of toxic, destructive, and otherwise hazardous substances has been detected in the city's water supply. The quantities measured are unacceptable. Please download the latest priority list and calibrate your equipment appropriately. Toxic water? That's terrifying. Hazardous Substances Index. I want to read that. The city's list of current hazardous chemicals to watch out for in the water supply. It's got chemical markers, formulas, and breakdowns for programming scanning tools with what they're looking for. Benzene. Identified over twice the safe level. Hmm. Factory discharge, so it's from industry. Industry pollution. Sulfuric acid. From acid rain. Estrogen. Identified. Oh, damn, it's about three times the safe levels. It's from plastics disposal. Now we're back to, back to benzene. Hmm. That's disturbing. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with that, though. Also, what's in here? Oh! Also, I just got a Steam achievement called I Don't Need No Ticket. Well, let's still go in the way we're supposed to. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's become friends with the bouncer. Alright, so let's check the email. Eight seven one Cyrus Street. Eight seven one eight seven one. The city's list of current has got. Eight seven one is this one. Power's on, of course. Water's not. What happens if you turn it on for another place? Or what happens if you turn all the other ones off? Or what if I turn off the power for the place? The the transdent itself. I'm kind of curious. You can do it, actually. Wow. I kind of want to do it. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. I am totally going to do it. Uh, wait. Which one is... Was it 871? I don't want to turn off their power. That'd be very bad. Yeah, 871. I wonder if this is going to do something. It should do something. And then we'll form connection. Wait, what? Huh. Okay. Well, the water's on and nobody else's is and nobody has power. Well, looking a little dark here. Hello? You there? Where are you? You can't see me? Can't see anything with these lousy eyes they gave me. They ain't worth shit in the dark. Oh, gotcha. When I find that girl... Wait a minute. Hello? You can't be... So this puzzle has multiple solutions, doesn't it? Power. Like three solutions. It looks like you can either sneak in, or you can turn off the power so you can just sneak past him. Or you can do what he wants you to do. But the, weir the weird thing is, I can't turn the power back on. Reboot node at Centralized Utilities office and try again. I can't do it again for some reason. Alright, that's... Hello? Is anyone there? That's weird, I'm being railroaded into this solution even though it's not the one I want to do. Okay. See ya. <laughs> I got the ninja achievement in Steam.
god, I guess they're trancing, but they all look like they're dead. It's a disturbing sight. Looks like he's made himself comfortable. I mean, trance really wouldn't be pretty. To an outside observer, it would just look like you were just unconscious or something. Like a bunch of zombies. But the important stuff is still happening in the head. Uh, holy shit, is that an IV drip? He's enhancing his experience with a side of intravenous drugs. The IV bag says it's epinephrine. Okay, that's extreme. A public access terminal covered in other people's wetware. From the cables running up the stairs, I guess it's been liberated off the street. Ew, so it's a public trans terminal and it's just covered in everybody's goo. That is disgusting. One of the trancers is spread out on the foam mat on the floor, underneath all the rusty water pipes. She looks so starved and ragged. It's people like her that give trancers a bad rep. The pipes cross the ceiling. Usefully labeled for maintenance. These are apparently tasked to carry water. Okay, so I'm supposed to meet somebody here, right? Before I connect to a terminal? So where's the person to meet? Nah, mine's fresher. Besides, everyone else will have been sticking their fingers in that stuff. They couldn't have grown it themselves because they didn't have water, so I guess they bought it and just left tubs of it around here. I guess throw my own goo onto the terminal? I can't reach any of its control surfaces. There's a centimeter thick layer of other people's wetware covering its surface. The <laughs> wetware won't form a connection with it. I can't reach any of it. Can you like wipe hey. it off? Nope, nothing. Injector? I can't reach any- I Crowbar. It's that thick? I thought you'd have to wipe it away, not use a crowbar to, like, break it off. It's really, really uncool to steal from someone who's in the trance. But I'm in something serious. Wait, are you- huh. She doesn't even have anything on her. I wanted to see if she would wake her up, I wasn't trying to steal from her. Hey. Nope, he's under. Okay, yeah, I thought I wasn't supposed to do this until I met with the person, but alright. What the hell? This is the public terminal of the, the public trance thing? This is, oh my god, cheesy garbage. A floating head waits in line for the games. His choice of non-humanoid avatar is probably some kind of symbolic self-expression. Mosin Nugget. Looks like they're having fun. Spark wings. Looks like they're having fun. New user one. <laughs> Creative. Hi there. Hi there. What? What's up? If you must know, I'm partaking in the digital experience. Apparently, more vivaciously than you. How do you figure? You're just standing, floating there. I... It, hey! Shut up! I feel like so many of the people you meet in this game are just thoroughly unpleasant. Specifically NPCs that you need to interact with to solve puzzles. They seem to be so unpleasant all the time. You're ahead. Very astute. And you're behind. No, I mean, you're just a floating head. Why are you just a floating head? Because unlike some people, I'm choosing to take the trance to its full potential. We can look like whatever we want, but some people just look like people. Ooh, human body, two legs, two arms. How original. I like having legs. Yeah, it's so limited though. Realists like you have no imagination. Hey, who are you calling a realist? What's the line for? If you must know, I'm waiting for a slot to open up in the games. 
I'm first, though. You hear me? Uh, sure. There are social conventions that must be followed. I really don't like this person. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna skip yeah, through their dialogue. The any good? Would I be waiting here if they... Remind me. What? It's the front of the line. Your front of the line. And do that next. Okay, so obviously I have to do something with that for the puzzle. Is this one of your... You yeah, it's acceptable. Mostly because I'm not being bought. It looked a little dirty. Yeah, I know. Not a problem. No, it's the cleanest place in the dead. Lousy. Can I... What? Are you... Uh... No, you... I was here... What's with the day? I know. They're, they come up here from the bars. Dirty. Ciao. Fine, fine. Cool. See you later. Hi there. Hi there. Hmm. The only person who wants to talk to me is just an asshole. Great. What if I just try to skip the line? He'll probably yell at me. Hey! Yep. Get in line. I- I don't think he'd want that. You sure? It's fascinating reading. I think we need to fuck with people using the pipe or the IV bag or the injector or something. Hey. Nope, he's under. I'm gonna see if I can find something to do and I'll be right back. Let's try breaking the pipe. Oh, ew. There we go. Maybe they'll wake up now. Apparently not. Let's go talk to them in the trance. I'm assuming that's the person I was talking to. Yo, dude, did you know you're covered in, like, slime? Hey. What do you want? Much as I hate to bring up meat space stuff. Spit it out. Actually, that's what you might need to do. The sewage pipe over your head's burst. What? How'd something like that happen? I've, uh, no idea. Nuke it. Nuke. No, no, milk it! I will not be giving Thank God for that. Oh God. Whoa. I didn't even know I could go there. Oh, that's the pit. I just thought that was background stuff. Hi, uh, Jensel seems to be down there. And other people too. Barman, aren't you the virtual barman that I saw? At the Vanderwall's apartment? This one isn't a user. Apparently, this terminal has a virtual bartender copied from a drinks machine, serving simulated beverages. Out of there, miss. What can I get you? I used to have an auto meal kind of like you. She got her recipes off a memory card. What about you? I got all the usuals built in already. Plus a few extras, this being the trance and all. How do you mean? People can be a little more adventurous about what they choose in here. I guess the law, or even physics, doesn't really matter here. As long as I got the formula, I can fix it up for you. Hmm, so I can get fancy stuff. Doesn't even matter. Can't poison me. It's simulated. What are you supposed to be? Victorian? I'm the bartender, Missy. Wouldn't be much of a club without one. Real or...? Nah, I'm part of the program. They got me out of a broken down machine in a dive bar in Southeast Newton. You like it here? Better than the last job. There's more space in here, that's for sure. And trans users have more interesting orders than beer, beer, beer. Before yesterday, I hadn't really spoken much with AIs. Do you ever get the urge to do more? How do y'all mean? Well, I mean, you're stuck in here. Or in a drinks machine. Ever wanted to get out, see the rest of the trance? Missy, I sell drinks. Unlike you, I have a defined raison d'etre. If I weren't doing that, well, I just wouldn't feel right. Fair enough. Give me a black iced tea. I don't know what the hell that is, but even though it's called tea, it probably has alcohol. A black iced tea. Do I have to hack it before I can drink it? Lady, with drinks like these? They're the ones hacking you. Don't you charge for drinks? It's ladies' night. Come to think of it, I have never been told when it wasn't ladies' night. 
Guess the management really wants more ladies in here. <laughs> Ciao. A black iced tea. Outside of the trance, these drinks fight back if you're wired. Would you like a drink, Jinsel? I can't make that work. You can't give a drink to a human being? I guess it is a pretty complex social interaction, isn't it? Also, am I crazy, or do Jinsel's feet, uh, legs specifically, look really, really weird? They look like little pegs. Like they're half as thin as they should be. Or rather, half as thick as they should be. They're super thin. It looks like she's got like two peg legs or something, like just two wooden posts. And weird little elf shoes or something. I don't know, it looks really strange. It's creeping me out the more I look at it. Hey, Jensel. Salam, Mandela. I trust you made it here without too much difficulty. It was fine. Just hacked a car to get into a manhole. Broke open a sewage pipe. The huge. Nothing I couldn't handle. I'm not used to all this meat space stuff, though. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself resourceful. You said you knew more about the guy who tried to kill me. You and your jelly... holly... Jehelia. In fact, there's been a breakthrough since we last spoke. Unfortunately, security is still an issue. Okay, tell me what the hell's actually going on, please. Ugh, nuke this! You're just being abstruse now! What we have found is sensitive, and we must take care of- Enough with the cloak and dagger bullshit! What the hell is going on? We will explain everything. We need your help to resolve a matter first. Before we can disclose such delicate information, this server must be emptied. Jehilia's hackers have managed to block any further connections to this server. You must now help us in clearing out any remaining users. I'll do what I can. Isam, we must have privacy before we can reveal what we found. Those remaining in the server must be persuaded to leave. This might take some work in meat space again. It is a testament to your strength that you work so well outside your comfort zone. Don't get used to it. Once this whole nuked up mess is sorted out, I am never leaving the trance again. So, that organization you work for? With. Jehelia's membership is non-hierarchical. Sounds like it'd be hard to get anything agreed on. Sometimes the differing viewpoints of members leads to a standstill. The ethical integrity is a refreshing change from my RL work, though. Wasn't Guy working for you? In a manner of speaking, sometimes we need to subcontract our tasks. For those matters, we'll recruit experts. Guy was such. Any word from Guy since I left Cell? Guy was discharged from Cell shortly after their escape. He made contact with us and sends his thanks. <sighs> That's a relief. So, I know it's awful netiquette in the trance. I'm almost disgusted to hear me say it, but... You wanna know more about the real me? Yeah, I mean, you probably can for secrecy and all. You are correct. There's a reason we have our identities in here. Even you, Mondo. Let's just say that outside, I work to do good for the world. Jehelia's interests match my own in that respect. Did you know where this sim was being hosted? It's a stolen street corner terminal in a dingy cellar. A trance den, yes. We often use it as a meeting point. I have not been there personally, but my allies' reports have painted a vivid picture. Yeah, it's a great place. If you're a rat or a giant cockroach. Perhaps you can use this to your advantage? The conditions sound only a little way from intolerable. Those within the den may need only a little push to make it sound. You don't know how far thralls will go for a link. Seems like this are weird. There's a whole net to explore, things to create and learn, but people want to come somewhere that's laid out like a dance club? Not to your taste? It just seems like a waste. Perhaps it lends familiarity to it. Unlike yourself, some may not be ready to lead a wholly intangible existence. But they understand the trance and the artifacts of life they know. And for a trance venue, it seems so small. If you're not in the den, where are you? Are you even in Newton? My person is in a secure location. As to where that is, well, I'm afraid that's a secret. Not even a clue? All I shall say is that I'm meeting some old friends here for dinner. Talk about multitasking. Exactly. Hopefully you will excuse me if I seem a little distracted. 
Why this server? It seems like a strange place to meet. Jahelia uses many such venues. Compared to the whole net, though? It's so small. Which allows us to more easily determine if we are being monitored. Ah, cloak and dagger. And after we have concluded our discussion, we shall crash the server. There shall be no evidence of us having been connected. Well, I guess she already kind of answered my question. They're going to crash the server after, but let's ask it anyway. If you want everyone gone, why don't you just crash the server remotely? I could have done that if you wanted. It would get rid of everyone. It would, but would also call attention to us. Our hackers have blocked incoming connections. Resetting the server would disable this. Oh, then everyone would just reconnect again. Precisely. We've removed as many as we can over the net. The remainder must physically leave the trance by themselves. With a little incitement for me, you mean? Come on, it's not like anyone would be listening in. I need to know what's going on. I'm sorry, Mandela, I cannot. As long as there's any unsecured connection... You mean all the other users... I gotcha, I you. gotcha. I'll get back... The Tafik. Okay, so... Is it only users? So I don't need the barman to leave? Because that's just an AI? What can I get you? Nope, definitely don't. Well, since drinks are free, why don't I get one of every drink? Give me a nuclear winter. On the rocks? Wouldn't be a nuclear winter without ice. Or radioactive fallout, but that'd be going a bit far to- Can you believe right, my man? Here you go. Ciao. Oh, I can only have one at a time. A bubbly Cuba Libre I picked up at the bar. She looks worried. Like she's forgotten something. Hi there. Evening. Wait, hold on. Let me get back to you. Sink you later. Their name is Captain Cheese969. That is a very strange name for somebody who looks like that. Because that sounds like the name like a 14 year old boy would come up with. Hi there. Evening. Interesting avatar you've got there. Thanks. Apparently I'm an idealist. So it's based around your perfect self-image? Exactly. Screw months of diet and exercise. Or millions of quanta of surgery and nanoplasty. You're one as well? I never really thought about it that way. I just thought this looked cool. What do you think of the walking can opener outside the den? Leon, he's all right. He fought in Singapore. Doesn't like to talk about it though. Don't you think it's odd, someone without wiring running a trans den? It's good for security, I guess. Means he's always on guard. You're still worried, though. Yeah. Thieves are tricky. So I'm guessing this is the avatar of the woman laying on the couch, probably. What's with those guys hogging the dance floor? From what I can tell, they're celebrating. We've got a cycle of drinking down here and partying up there. Any idea what's got them in such a good mood? I don't know. Some sport thing? Big win, apparently. I haven't really paid attention to that stuff since I started trancing. I know the feeling. This your usual haunt? First time here, actually. There's a place on my ass that I used to go to. This is my first time here, too. I stopped going to dens after I matriculated. I can understand. Some people just prefer the freedom of the open web. A different kind of atmosphere in these smaller local servers. You like the server this den's got running? It's alright. There's only so much you can do with a right purpose terminal, though. No doubt legitimately acquired. No doubt. Still, they've got a bar, a dance floor, and a bunch of games running. And I love the way you can just stare off the edge into forever. Why'd you choose this place, if you don't mind me asking? My folks have been trying to get me to cut down. Fortunately, something I've not had to deal with. No folks. So, I can't trance at home. I have to use dens. The further from home the dens are, the better. Why'd you come here? I'm on the run from a cell agent who's trying to kill me. My underground contact told me to meet here. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> God, what's happening with her is so ridiculous that it sounds like a joke. Something bothering you? Not obvious, huh? I can see it right through the trance. What's up? Well... I gotta come out to these dens to trance, right? Except the last couple of times, it's not gone so well. Wiring problems? Worse. Someone keeps going through my pockets while I'm under. I disconnect and find someone's gone with all my quanta. Jeez, sorry to hear. Poverty's my answer to that problem. 
And this time I'm hiding it. They won't find any money on me. Hmm. I wonder where she hid it. You've been trancing long? Not really. Only got wired last year. My friends were raving about the trance, and eventually I gave in. He was a good choice, wasn't he? The best. The trance is a whole new experience. A whole new world. Before, the net was just a net. Now? It's thoughts, feelings, media. All is a living world. A waking dream full of everything. Made of other minds. Welcome to my world. I started to spend a whole lot of time in here after that. Sure, I dropped out of my post-grad course, but... I've got RAM trouble. What was it bothering you again? Thieves. Every time I trance, I get my RL inventory. But you've got a plan this time. Exactly. I got it stashed somewhat still. Three tr trugging? Oh, trance mugging. Trugging. <laughs> or trugging. Either, unfortunately. Let me get back to you. Sink you later. Okay, so how am I going to convince her to leave? Like, do I just steal her money? That seems cruel. Hi there. Hi there. It's so weird that none of them want to say anything. Should we go play a game? The game zone. Get nuked or grab ball. Let's do grab ball. Oh, I got a paper play. I've got no credits. Hmm. Want a drink? Hi there. Okay, nice talking with you. Goodbye. I'm confused though. Aren't there? four people in the trance right now but there's only two people out here hmm okay so she stashed her money somewhere I'd also like to point out that this is leaking sewage into the room this would smell disgusting Ugh. that is so nasty Maybe you should put it in the sofa? This is a lot of quanta for someone to lose in the sofa. There it is. A plastic credit chip. For those times you need to buy something without using the net. I can sense in my wetware that it has a couple hundred quanta still loaded. So do I actually have to steal her money, or... Uh, what? I don't want to do that. The wetware won't form a con... But maybe that's what I'm supposed to do? Oh, can I use those credits to go play games? Yeah, looks like it. The chips made a connection to my wetware systems that allow it to be used in the trance. Oh, look at all that credit. I mean, it's not gonna be taking much of her money, but still, this is wrong. Alright, gra grab ball we go. Nice game, loser. Hey, how about best 16 out of 30? Ha ha. Jerk. My turn. El Mustardo. Really? The other player is taking a break from his never-ending chain of defeats. Lording it over this simulation, the game's unbeaten champ eagerly, eagerly awaits his next challenger. I'll beat you. Don't really know what the point would be, I guess, maybe to make them leave? Would they leave if they lost? I can hope. I challenge Hi you, sir. What's up? If only I had a white glove to slap him with. Let's, let's skip all the small talk. Let's play. Let's go. Bring it on. I have no idea how to play. I Damn. lost. Damn. Are, are there controls I'm supposed to press? Oh, right click does a thing. Damn. Oh yeah! Another One more try. Let's go. Bring it. Damn. 
Damn. These controls are interesting. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The controls oh, yeah. are really, really strange. All you can do is just click. Left or right click does the same move, it seems like, and you just have to time it right. But it's very delayed, so when the ball gets faster and faster, you actually have to click it before the other person actually even hits the ball themselves. Because of the delay. It's really strange. Bring it on. But I can get this. This isn't too hard. It's just weird. Damn. Yeah, you have to click it long before they actually hit it themselves. Damn. <sighs> Damn. Oh yeah. Come on. Let's go. Bring it. Damn. Yeah, you gotta click it way before they actually hit it. But sometimes they don't hit it and it bounces off of the damn wall. Damn. Behind them, and then you mistime it. Ugh. Damn. Let's just restart. Oh yeah! Let's go. bring it. What the? Damn. What? I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> this is a horrible game. Damn. It might be better just to spam oh, yeah. the move. It's I know this looks like I'm just being like the worst player in the world, but honestly, this is actually what you're trying to do is simple, but it's just really 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 weird because of the way the controls work. It's so delayed. It's really hard to time it. It's very hard. Let's go. Bring it on. I mean, listen to when I click compared to when I actually do the move. Listen. Damn. Can you hear that? Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah! I wonder if I can give this guy beer and maybe I'll like make him worse at playing the game. But I can do this. Let's go. It's just Bring difficult. It on. But it's a bad kind of difficulty, right? It's not an honest difficulty. It's a the controls are just laggy and unresponsive difficulty, which really blows. Damn. <sighs> Fucking hell. Just just lose. Damn. Just lose. Damn. Oh yeah. Let's go. Bring it on. Damn. <laughs> this is horrible. This is so horrible. Okay. It's the first point I've ever scored, I think. Damn. Oh yeah. Let's bring it. I'm gonna do this as many times as it takes. I don't care. I'm gonna win this. Damn. <laughs> Fucking hell. One and one. Damn. Just two more points. Woohoo! Ooh, one more point. Okay, come on. Focus, focus. Damn. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Another win for Team Austin. <coughs> I'd like to point out, it's a bit strange that you can only move your upper body and, like, 
It's like you're cemented in place. The ball can be just like right behind your feet, but like you can't touch it. You can't touch it. Let's bring it. <laughs> Damn. What if I just, I'm just gonna, let's just do this. It almost looks like there's oh, yeah. different moves. It almost looks like there's different moves. Sometimes she swipes up and sometimes she swipes down. Maybe she's dependent on where the ball is. Look, up, 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 down, down. Yeah, I think it's where the ball is that changes the animation. Down, 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 up. I guess that's where the ball is. Wow, that was an easy two points. Okay, come on, don't mess this up. Woohoo! Woo I, I, yeah, I'll, uh... Yeah. I got an achievement. Winners Maybe don't use drugs. I don't know what you did, but that was worth sticking around to see. Maybe we'll spar sometime. Let, let's not. El Mustardo. This game's horrible. Okay, one of two games down. Let's do the last one. Get nuked. Hey there. Hey, you got here just in time. For what? It's the end of the world, baby. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> what, that's the game? Watch a city explode? What a rush, huh? What just happened? What is this sim? Get nuked, man. Excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry. That's the name of the sim. Get nuked? That's a bit... A bit on the nose, but it does what it says on the wrapper. That's what people come here to do. Get nuked. I think I've had enough explosions for one week. Could you please leave? I was just wondering, would you be able to disconnect? I can't really tell you why, but it's really important. Say what? I can't leave now. I've got the nuke server to look after. Maybe if you go when you next get killed by the blast or the fallout? Hey, if mortality was on, we'd all have been wasted by that last one. While god mode is on, nothing can kill us. Hmm. How do I turn god mode off? Thank you later. Catch you in the afterglow. I really don't feel like talking to this person that much. I just want to make them leave. That's odd. This rock is a steel panel bolted onto its side. Maybe I can turn god mode off from there. Bash it with a drink. It's made a mess, but it hasn't helped get the panel open. Maybe I need the right kind of drink. A corrosive drink. Vomiter. <laughs> That's her username. Fearless Phil. Hi there. I wonder if he's ignoring me, or whether he just doesn't know I'm here. Trance does funny things to people's perceptions sometimes. Let's go get another drink. So let's see, the last drink I got was Cuba uh, Cuba Libre. Maybe this? Give me a nuclear on the rock. Wouldn't be a nuclear or radioactive fallout. Ciao. Unless. Unless. 
I mean, you can ask him about where he gets his recipes from. Could you maybe make these? What can you make of these? Well, they got the formulas in here. You sure got some interesting tastes and drinks, Missy. Looks like I was right. Out of there. Make some sulfuric acid. That should melt it. I'm feeling adventurous. Sulfuric acid, please. Coming right up. Don't spill that now. Ciao. Let's melt this panel off. Rather suspiciously, but the person won't notice. The acid's eaten right through the panel cover. Because video games. Siege of Singapore. Oh my fucking god. Hiroshima Classic. That is fucked up. Hiroshima Revisited? Uh. Please let that not be the future. Here we go! I didn't think that would actually blow it up. I thought it would just load the city. Yeah, it's cool, man. I'm gonna turn God Mode off so that everybody dies. Here we go! Here we go. Feel the shockwave. Ouch. Yeah, that probably didn't feel good. Okay. Well, that's uh, quite a few of them gone. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to make the rest of the trans users disconnect. <laughs>